वेलकम वी विल स्टार्ट विथ वेरी बेसिक एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज यू एस एफ डी एक्सपेक्टेशन अबाउट ट्रेनिंग इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री यू एस एफ डी एक्सपेक्टेशन अबाउट ट्रेनिंग इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इज ईच पर्सन एंगेज इन द मैन्युफैक्चर प्रोसेसिंग पैकिंग और होल्डिंग ऑफ ए ड्रग प्रोडक्ट शाल हैव एजुकेशन ट्रेनिंग एंड एक्सपीरियंस और एनी कॉम्बिनेशन देयर ऑफ टू एनेबल दैट पर्सन टू परफॉर्म द असाइंड फंक्शन The US FDA has identified GMP training requirements in pharmaceutical industry and defined in 21 CFR 211.25. Next question what are the major types of training in pharmaceutical industry? Induction training, on job training, self reading training, classroom training, external training, incidental training and refresher training are the major types of training in pharmaceutical industry. Next question what are the requirements for trainer as per US FDA As per US FDA training in current good manufacturing practice shall be conducted by qualified individuals on a continuing basis As per general industry practice trainer certification or qualification shall be done based on educational background knowledge experience and skills Next very basic question what is induction training Induction training is training given to the new joinee at the time of joining the organization for awareness of organization and organization key personnel. Next question what is JD or job description? JD is the list of key activities that are identified for a person to perform in an organization. Designation, job title, key activities to be performed immediate supervisor designee or person responsible in absence are part of jd that is job description next very frequently asked question what is tni full form of tni is training need identification based on the jd that is job description of a person applicable sop shall be identified by hod and tni shall be prepared next question what is on job training On job training is the training given at workplace to understand the practical procedures on below three types of SOPs we should give on job training equipment operation SOPs equipment cleaning SOPs and equipment calibration SOPs Next question who shall be accountable for departmental training answer is department head and QA head shall be accountable for departmental training Next very frequently asked question is whether 100% training is mandatory for making revised document effective answer is it is guideline requirement that every employee shall be trained in his or her area of work prior to starting the work hence training to all identified personnel shall be completed prior to making document effective in case of emergency revised document can be made effective without 100% completion of training In this case pending employee training shall be completed before they do work with revised document. Next question whether it is acceptable to propose training as a kappa action. Answer is yes we can propose training as a kappa action in pharmaceutical industry. Probability of making mistakes by well trained personnel is less than untrained personnel. Next question how the training can be made more effective? We can use following tools to make training more effective. The tools are preparation of training module, use of pictures or presentation in module and addition of case study or examples if applicable. Next question what is training calendar? It is common industrial practice is to make training calendar yearly. In training calendar important training topics, target group and month in which training shall be imparted needs to be included. Next question what are the basic components of training attendance sheet Basic components of training attendance sheet are name designation signature and date and remark Next question which are the commonly used modes of training in pharmaceutical industry Commonly used modes of training in pharmaceutical industry are oral training slides video handout and practical training Next important question when retraining shall be given to employees In the following four cases we should impart retraining to the employees first based on the internal or external audit findings second based on the investigation findings third based on document review observations and fourth based on the shop floor observations trained One more important question for how long training records shall be maintained 
आंसर इज ट्रेनिंग रिकॉर्ड शैल बी मेंटेन फॉर एट लीस्ट फाइव ईयर्स फ्रॉम द डेट ऑफ रिलीविंग ऑफ एम्प्लॉय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वॉट इज सेल्फ ट्रेनिंग एंड सर्टिफिकेशन अ क्वालिफाइड ट्रेनर शैल बी ट्रेन ऑन एस ओ पीज और अदर टॉपिक्स बाय सेल्फ रीडिंग द रिस्पेक्टिव एस ओ पी और डॉक्यूमेंट दिस सेम शैल बी डॉक्यूमेंटेड इन द अनेक्शर सेल्फ ट्रेनिंग एंड ट्रेनिंग रिकॉर्ड एंड शैल बी सेल्फ सर्टिफाइड बाय द क्वालिफाइड ट्रेनर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन वेन रिफ्रेशर ट्रेनिंग शैल बी इम्पॉर्टेड ऑल एम्प्लॉय शैल बी गिवन रिफ्रेशर ट्रेनिंग ऑन अ पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट एट लीस्ट वंस एवरी टू ईयर्स If no change in the SOP for the procedure has been occurred in that time span More useful videos will be coming on this channel subscribe to channel for more videos related to our pharmaceutical industry